My husband is Robert Levinson. He went on a business trip to Quiche Island, which is part of Iran, and uh, it was supposed to be a 24-hour trip, and he never left there. Um, unfortunately, that was March 9th, 2007, and we have never heard anything about his whereabouts since then. His passport has not been seen. Um, we have not received any recent information about him, although I do believe he is safe and will come home to us soon. Dan, the picture that we're seeing of your father, we believe, right? What are the circumstances of this photo? What's the best guess as to why he's in Iran? What can you tell us? Um, uh, I'm uh, assuming that you're showing the, uh, the orange jumpsuit. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, we are. Us and um, in April 2011, and um, we were emailed those uh, photos. There were about other five of them, and he's holding messages, which we're, we're still trying to understand the actual meaning behind the messages. And um, he he looks uh, very different from from when we last saw him. He is visibly thinner. He has an unkempt beard, long hair, and uh, it, it does worry us. But um, at the same time, we were happy to see that he's alive and relatively well. Um, and uh, being treated well, relatively well, but um, it, it's it's concerning to us because we haven't heard anything since those last photos. Well, of course it is. Of course, I mean this has got to be a panic for you every day, and that's why we were trying to help because yeah. it's a little confusing. Let me just ask one more question, and then we'll get into the obvious about what needs to be done now. Is there any reason to believe he's somewhere else? Is there any good explanation that the State Department or any authority or agency in the United States government could offer for why he may be somewhere else? Because there was a recent report that I think it was Ahmadinejad or an Iranian official had somewhat alluded to the fact that your father was there. Is that accurate? Um, he is. Um, he was last seen in Iran on Quiche Island. That's the only information we have about his travels. As I said earlier, we, his passport has never been seen anywhere else. But six and a half years have passed, and we don't know exactly where he is at this moment in time. When you go to the State Department, when you ask the government for help, what do they tell you? They are working as hard as they can to get him home. Unfortunately, um, it, he disappeared in the country of Iran, and it is very hard to um, get anything done there. We need the officials in Iran to help us and make sure that Bob is safe and get him home to us. And that's where the frustration comes in, certainly, uh, Dan, for you, where right now we're negotiating with Iran. Right now we're discussing what should be on the table in terms of establishing trust. Uh, there has been some uh, news reporting given to Pastor Abedini, uh, who has been held there uh, supposedly for his practice of Christianity. Your father wasn't really on the radar. Did you make efforts to them? Do you think he should be part of this negotiation? Um, well, we're, we've been told, and um, the uh, U.S. officials have been saying in recent days that he's brought up in every opportunity um, to have uh, on the sidelines of, of these negotiations, and um, they, they're going to continue to press this case, and we have no doubt that the U.S. government is doing everything they can. Um, uh, something I'd like to note that was very important for us was um, during that phone call um, uh, two months ago between President Obama and President Rouhani, which is the first direct contact between the leaders of our two countries in 34 years. Um, President Obama did bring up my dad's case, and um, we think that was, that was very big for us, and, and it shows how important it is to the U.S. government, and, and we're very grateful for President Obama bringing that up, and we're just hoping that President Rouhani and, and his administration can follow up on that request. Yes, and thank you for correcting me, because I said Ahmadinejad, it's Rouhani, it's the newly elected uh, leader there, and it was yes. President Obama, and there was an illusion made, and my understanding from the reporting is that Rouhani didn't say who are you talking about? Or you know he's not here, and obviously that gives some credence to the suggestion that he is. Is that your take as well? Well, we don't know what he actually said back, or um, or what what was discussed. Um, all we know that was that he was brought up, and, and President Obama uh, noted the importance of bringing him home. Um, uh, there are there are other reports from from um, when when Ahmadinejad was interviewed um, years previous. But we're, we're focused on the, the new administration, and they seem very willing to cooperate with the U.S. on a number of issues, and we're just hoping our, our dad's uh, return home to us is one of those. Fourth year, you can't or you don't want, is what I believe the sign says that was hung around your father there. You said you've been struggling to make sense of that. I'm sure you're trying to make sense of all of this, Christine. It's such an unnatural circumstance to be in. Let the people watching the show know who 
is missing right now? Who is this man? Who is he to you? What does he represent to your family? Bob is a wonderful man. He is my whole life. Um, we will be married on, for 40 years uh, on our next anniversary. We have seven children. Um, we were living the American dream. We had a happy family, and um, Bob had business. He was running his own business and doing well. And then this happened, and our whole world fell apart. We now uh, miss him at every occasion. Since he disappeared, there have been numerous graduations. Two daughters have gotten married. Um, we, have a new, uh, we have a new grandson who was born just a month ago. Another grandson will be born in February. Um, we have a granddaughter who is going to be five years old in December, and Bob knows nothing about any of these children. It's extremely difficult for our family because this is something that can be resolved. Yes. The people who have Bob need to send him home to his family. Six and a half years is far too long. And this man, he, your husband, did work in the FBI, but this wasn't an FBI caper gone wrong. This was a business trip, just to make that clear. Is that correct, Ann? Correct. Bob retired from the FBI in, in 1998. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you both. I'm sorry to have to meet you this way and have this discussion, uh, especially so close to the holidays, but you have to keep hope alive for this. We'll keep this yes, story in discussion, definitely. especially while negotiations are ongoing on and they're trying to establish trust between the countries. Certainly, this should be on the agenda. Let us know how we can help keep this story going. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for keeping Appreciate the word out. This.